Hi guys, I'm back again with this all new setup. Let me show you how to add blur effect on your Windows desktop. This way, you can achieve that acrylic style with liquid glass effect. Let's go. Now, first of all, we're going to head on to the browser. And as usual, all the links in this video will be provided for you in the description. We're going to be starting with this app called Windock. Download and install Windock. Okay. Go right here to the download icon. Click on it. Once that is downloaded, you can proceed to click on the setup. I'm going to minimize this. Click on OK. Next. Yes. Next. Install. Click on finish. Once you open Windock, you'll be greeted with this home page. Now we're going to proceed to explore. Here we have many options. Of all these options, we're going to start with the Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. Click on Details. Right here, you want to select Install. Ignore this harmless warning. Accept risk and install it. Click on that. This is going to take some time, so be patient with it. Once the installation is complete, go ahead to Settings. On that theme, you're going to navigate down here. Expand this. I'm going to scroll down here a bit and select Translucent Start Menu. Click on that. Then proceed to Save Settings. Now, if we minimize this, if you go into your Start Menu, now you're going to see that we have this beautiful acrylic effect on the start menu. Proceed to the next one. Go back to Windock. Go on to Explore. And this time, I'm going to do Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. Click on Details. Select Install. Proceed to install it right here. Wait for it. Go ahead to Settings. Under this theme, I'm going to expand this. And we're going to select Translucent Taskbar. Click on that. Now proceed to save settings. As we can see down here, we have this taskbar with acrylic effect, which is looking pretty cool. Now, if you go to the notification center, you can see that it doesn't match with what we have going on down there. So we're going to change this right now. Go back to explore. Now this time on the Windows 11 notification center styler, go ahead to details. Right here, you want to install it. Click on install. Wait for it. Now we're done with the installation. Go ahead to settings. On that theme, I'm going to expand this. And this time you're going to select translucent shell. Click on that. Then select save settings. Now, if you navigate to the notification center, now here we have this blur effect, which goes well with what we have going on down here. So I'm just going to get rid of these icons. Right click on your desktop. Go to view. Now you're going to select show desktop icons. Click on that. All right, guys, we're going to proceed to the next one right here. First of all, we can close this window already. Now go back to the browser. And this time we're going to download and install Rainmeter. OK, proceed to this download icon. Click on it. Straight up, click on the setup. I'm going to minimize this. OK, next. Install. Yes. Go ahead and finish it. So after installing Raymeter by default, you're going to get these Raymeter skins. Now I'm going to remove this just by right clicking on it and select Unload Skin. We're going to do the same for everything. Unload Skin, right click, Unload Skin. Now that we have Raymeter installed, we're going to install Raymeter Skin. Go back to the browser. I'm going to go to the next link right here, right here in deviantart.com. Now we're going to download this Remeda skin. Before we do that, I'll let you know, guys, that you need to create a free account. So once you've created your free account, navigate to this download icon, then click on it. Now we're going to proceed to the file location. This is a zip file. We're just going to extract this by clicking on extract all right here. Click on extract all, select extract. Now run this Big Saw 26 release. Double click on that. Select install. Proceed right here. Click on apply theme. We have two options here. We're going to select the one on the left. Click on this one. So by default, you're going to get this appearance. But obviously, we're going to make some changes. OK, now, first of all, if you click on any of these, for instance, if you click on this, you have this different style here. If you click on that, and if you click on this, this is the blur effect on the light mode. OK, now if you click on this, this is the blur effect on the dark mode. And if you click on this, this is the one with the colors. Now, because we're doing the blur effect on the light mode, I'm going to select this one. Let's click on that. And again, this comes with a wallpaper. So if you click on any of these, 
you get this uh, default wallpapers i'm not going to be using this wallpaper i have another wallpaper i want to use for this and i'm going to be leaving this link to this beautiful wallpaper in the description i'm just going to click on download here if you go to the file location we have this wallpaper right here i'm just going to right click on it and select set as desktop background just click on that i'm going to minimize everything now as we can see we have this unique wallpaper which is looking pretty cool so now we've chosen our style which is this one we can proceed to x on this first thing i want to change right here is this news i want to get rid of this news to do that right click on here go on to settings and select disable news and you want to check on this click on this one right here okay now this is looking much better that's going to put it right here to launch the settings for this click on this plus icon and here we have the widget which you can click on it to add on to what we have here i'll be coming back to this widget first of all we head on to the settings now we're going to enable these height labels let's enable this after doing that we can see that the names and the labels are not there anymore now i'm going to rearrange this widget first of all i'm going to remove the ones that are not needed all right starting with this one right here I'm just going to right click on it and select close i'm going to close this close close and close put that to the right side a bit more to the right i'm going to take this one down a bit as well Now if you go onto widgets, click on the library, drag this one to the right. That is the only widget I'm going to add onto this. And if you go onto the shortcuts, you can add any of these icons to the desktop just by clicking on it. Now I'm going to choose some right here. I'm going to start with the sticky notes, um, drag it from the top, so I'm just going to put it right here. And the next one is Spotify, I'm going to put it right here, okay. We have um, Excel, click on that, put it right here. And here we have PowerPoint, click on it. I'm going to drag it right here. And this is all I need for now. Click on web. Here you have link to your favorite website. I'm going to choose four of these as well. So I'm going to start with Pinterest. After arranging that carefully, now we can go ahead and close the settings. Everything is going well, but we are not done yet. If you open the file explorer, you can see that this contradicts with whatever we have going on here. So we have to add blur effect to this file explorer as well. Now we're going to go back to the browser. In github.com, we're going for explorer blomica. We're going to go right here to the right side, scroll down a bit, I'm going to click on latest. You want to scroll down again and click on this release x64.zip navigate to the file location yes the release x64 we just downloaded we're going to extract it highlight on it and select extract all click on extract i'm going to close this first now we have this folder which we just extracted from here just right click on it and cut it now proceed to this pc go to your local disk paste it right here open the release x64 folder Go on to release, double click on this register, select run, click on yes. Okay, I'm gonna X on this, I'm gonna minimize this. Now if you go back to your file explorer, you can see that we have this blur effect. Now just to make the blur effect more obvious, we're gonna go back again to the release x64, release, double click on config. Now right here on the light, I'm gonna change A to 115. B, I'm going to change that to 194. G, I'm going to change that to 137. Then R, I'm going to change to 116. Proceed to file and click on save. X on this. Close it. Reopen it. Now, as seen here, this blur effect is more obvious and it's looking pretty cool, I must say. Now, we have the blur effect of the file explorer. We have this on the taskbar, start menu, of course, and we have it right here at the notification center. And also on the side here, we have this big soar. Uh, we have the time, we have the calculator. This is your file explorer icon. Actually, you can adjust this volume right here just by clicking on it. 
you can adjust the brightness as well. You have CPU, RAM and SSD and the calendar is right here. So now just in case you don't want any of this setup anymore, I'm going to show you how to uninstall this easily. Proceed to your settings, go on to apps, select installed apps. Now you're going to search for rain meter. Go to three dots right here, click on it, select uninstall, click on uninstall, yes. So right here you're going to make sure to check on this, check on this and click on uninstall. Once you get rid of the rain meter, the big saw gets uninstalled as well. I'm not going to uninstall this right now. Now you're going to do the same for WinHawk. Go right here, go to uninstall, click on uninstall, select yes, then click on uninstall. If you want to go back to the default file explorer, go onto your local disk, go to release x64, open the release folder, just double click on uninstall, it gets uninstalled, ensure to go back right here and delete this folder. That is all you have to do to uninstall all these from your computer. That's going to be all for now guys. I hope you find value in this video. If you do, remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notifications so you get notified when I post contents like this. Have a nice day guys. Peace out.